All right, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna talk about Terrence Crawford's message to Errol Spence Jr. and the realization that, that by both of them, I think that they are both gonna need each other after this Manny Pacquiao loss. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. And before we get into the subject matter of the video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Like the video, share the video. It goes a long way towards helping the channel grow and it will be greatly appreciated. So there was an absolutely terrific fight this weekend between Yordanis Ugas and Manny Pacquiao. And Yordanis Ugas won the WBA title or maintained his WBA super title over Manny Pacquiao. And Manny Pacquiao uh, pretty much looked like, you know, it was time for Manny Pacquiao to wrap up his career because he's just, you know, like I said in the prediction videos leading up to the leading up to the fight, you know, 42 years old is 42 years old. And at a certain point in time, your body is just not going to do the things that it used to do when you were 22 or 32, you know, 42, you know, especially for a smaller fighter was really pushing it. But, you know, Manny Pacquiao had an absolutely excellent career, but his departure from the scene really does create like a real, a new reality that I think was already there before Manny Pacquiao um, won the title off of Keith Thurman was that pretty much that Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford were is the fight taking place should that should take place in the welterweight division to get the undisputed title and terrence crawford sent a message to errol spence jr saying pretty much just that like hey i'm not saying this in a bad way but it seems like we but we both need each other now so hopefully that means that the two of them will both be working you know hard towards having a fight between the two of them and but that's going to take you know a certain amount of uh, doing for in order for that to be undisputed because you do have your Danis Ugas who's still there now your Danis Ugas is you know this is the um, you know the conundrum that we get caught in in boxing where you know do you go for the big fight or do you go for the big you know the big accomplishment right in this particular instance the big fight is Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford but in the same breath the big accomplishment is the undisputed title that would be held if you collected all four of the belts and then so with that in mind you cannot forget um uh you cannot forget your Danny Zugas in that particular in that particular scenario so when we'll see what happens moving forward but what i'm hoping will happen is that we know we have terrence crawford who has um who has Sean Porter, excuse me, who has Sean Porter as a mandatory. Now that particular fight is supposed to go to purse bid. So I don't know exactly, you know, when that fight's going to happen. A lot of some people, not a lot of people, some people are saying that that fight's still not going to happen, believing that Terrence Crawford really doesn't want to fight Sean Porter. Um, it, the original reason it was given out for him not wanting to fight him was because he was his friend. But, you know, I don't know how much I put into that there right now. In a purse, in a situation where they've been ordered to fight by the WBO, and there's a purse bid that is supposed to be taking place, I think on September 2nd, uh, between where we're going to figure out exactly who's going to put on the fight. And I, so I think I lean towards believing that that particular fight um, is a is a um, lock. But then after that fight, that would be, and I think that that is a good fight for Terrence Crawford because that makes Terrence Crawford have a common opponent along with the other two champions. As we know, Errol Spence Jr. beat Sean Porter in what uh, the fight before he actually had his car accident in an absolute barn burner um, of a fight. And then your Danis Ugas lost, he had lost when he, uh, to to Sean Porter, and now Terrence Crawford would have fought Sean Porter, so it would give us a good baseline to see how each of them look against Sean Porter. But at the end of the day, you know, I hope what happens is Errol Sp is that Errol Spence Jr. already has two of the belts, and and Errol Spence Jr. has was in a car accident, not a car. Well, he was in a car accident, but he had a torn retina, so that's going to take some amount of time. For, for it to heal. So hopefully what will happen is that, you know, Terrence Crawford will go on ahead and fight um, 
Sean Porter. And, you know, I'm not sure who's going to win that fight, honestly, man, because Sean Porter, it will be the toughest fight for Terrence Crawford to this point in time in his career. So, you know, who knows which way that fight's going to go. I'm, I would say that it's probably a 55-45 fight in favor of Terrence Crawford. Um, but after he gets that done, then Terrence Crawford would have definitely had the, you know, the big fight that he need that he needs in my mind to prove that he is one of the top elite welterweights. And then, um, well, you know, not to necessarily prove it, but, you know, to solidify it, because we can look at Terrence Crawford and see in the ring that Terrence Crawford is an excellent fighter, that he has all the skills that he needs and the talent and the aggression that he needs to be successful against other fighters. It's just that his career has just not really had a lot of marquee fights, right? And so it, it, this fight with Sean Porter would be a marquee fight, one where people would really be looking for it. I think something where it could potentially be a, a pay-per-view fight that could do well, at least that's what Bob Arum said um, when Bob Arum was leading into and was originally very hopeful for the negotiations between the PBC and top rank saying that, you know, he really believes that he could actually make some money on this fight, that it may be a joint pay-per-view between ESPN and Fox. Well, with the purse bid coming up, I'm not quite sure, you know, whether it's, I, I'm pretty sure that that jo joint pay-per-view thing is out the window, but still it is, it's a, just a very, very um, big fight. Um, but I like the fact that Terrence Crawford's attitude as far as Errol Spence Jr. has changed because for him to come out and say, hey, it looks like we need we both need each other. That's clear. Be, you know, the reason that he would say that is because both Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. were looking at Manny Pacquiao as a potential, you know, as a, you know, as an opponent that would get them to the next level. But with your Danny's Ugas beating Manny Pacquiao, that option is off the uh, off the table. And now the two of them will need to be have to fight one another to see who can go to that next level. Because I personally believe that you get the same, that Errol Spence would get the same amount of boost for beating Terrence Crawford, at least in the minds of mainstream, uh, uh, well, what people refer to as hardcore boxing fans. I think you get just as much, you know, uh, accolades for that as he would have beating Manny Pacquiao. But, you know, the crazy thing is, is after fighting Sean, after watching Manny Pacquiao win with your Danny Zugas, man, I'm almost glad that, that, that Errol Spence Jr. wasn't the guy in there fighting him because that, it was bad enough of a beating with Manny Pacquiao with your, the, way that, the way that your Danny Zugas did Manny Pacquiao. But to see Errol Spence Jr. Do, to, do that to him, I think that just might have been absolute positively overkill. But Manny Pacquiao, Errol, excuse me, Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford is the fight to make. I'm really happy to hear Terrence Crawford say out of his mouth that that is the fight that, you know, that where they need each other because Terrence Crawford before was saying he doesn't need Errol Spence. Right. Well, if he's going to be the man that he said that he wants to be as far as being the superstar and Errol Spence Jr. is going to do that, then those guys both need each other. And I'm glad the recognition's there. Anyway, that's my thought on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.